We are calling on the Speaker and the President Pro Tem to provide our citizens with a clear-cut vision for economic development in North Carolina. It is very clear that the Republicans are having a spirited internal debate, policy debate, about incentives while our neighboring states are actively recruiting new industries and companies right out from under us. We say that we are open for business, but are we competing right now? The economic developers who are on the ground and our true professionals are telling me that we lack a clear-cut vision and have limited tools when it comes to enticing new industries and new jobs to our state. While our state's total unemployment number has dropped significantly, there are still major pockets of double-digit unemployment, especially in the rural regions of the state. Two weeks ago, news reports indicated that Volvo had eliminated North Carolina from their prospective list for a new billion-dollar manufacturing facility, choosing South Carolina and Georgia as their top options. This news, coupled with a similar decision by Mercedes-Benz, is stinging. While our governor has worked to reshape the state's economic development model with a dual public-private agency, there's a sense of floundering in our legislative efforts to provide a clear-cut policy on recruiting new industry and commerce to North Carolina. There is very little clarity in our economic development efforts. Over the past three years, we haven't been successful in developing a recruitment strategy because of an ongoing internal fight in the Republican Party. That means we haven't defined our goals and objectives. There's a lack of vision in the state legislature when it comes to economic growth and development policies. The Republican leadership has been more focused on a conservative social agenda than working with the governor to develop a comprehensive plan for our state's future economic uh, success. I am very concerned that the state legislature has not yet passed a comprehensive economic development incentive plan. Three years ago, we were promised a rebranding campaign for our state's economic development efforts. Well, we're still waiting to see that plan. Uh, we cannot lose focus on the jobs front because our Republican colleagues have failed to hash out philosophical fights regarding incentives. Do we really want to engage in that debate right now? We are losing major projects like Volvo. We're losing major product projects like Mercedes-Benz. Do we really have the time to engage in incentive debates that continue to result in the same outcomes over and over again? Failure to the people, failure to our state, and failure to create jobs. We as Main Street Democrats, we want to compete. We want to recruit new jobs with high pay and wages to our state. The question is, are we going to just do it or are we going to just talk about it? If we're going to compete, then that's what our policies will be. And we have to decide how we measure those policies and the process to get there toward success. The time for talk is over. It's time to get moving. Job creation should be our top priority and will continue to be our top priority as Main Street Democrats. The Main Street Democrats stand ready to work on critical bills and provide support to the leadership that will create direction and clarity on job growth and recruitment issues. We ask the Republicans to put aside their internal differences and start working for the benefit and welfare of the entire state. When we say we are open for business, it shouldn't be a slogan. We should mean it.